Mary is a longtime worker at the school and she is the chef. She's in charge of food services uh, at the school. And she unfortunately, the year is 1970. We span 1970 and into 19, the beginning of 1971. Uh, and she has just recently suffered a loss uh, of her child. And this, what makes this interesting for her as a person in this world, this is her first time being completely alone. It's wonderful working with Paul Giamatti. He has such character as a human being, but also with what he brings to the table. Uh, and he's so great because sometimes, you know, when you work with actors, those who you really revere uh, for being so talented can be very serious sometimes and stuffy. And what is so amazing, and I think speaks even more to his talent, is that he's able to snap in and out of the character is very seamless, but I love right before they say action, I'll peek a look and you'll see him just like morph and fall into place into his character. Dominic is quite special uh, for having never done it before. I would say what's more impressive even outside of his talent, which is quite natural and, and just very present um, and non-stereotypical. He's doing a very, it's, I don't know if I could have done it to play this hurt, damaged teenager, right? And it not just be this one dimensional screaming kid every five seconds. He's really found, um, the nuances, uh, to all of it. Um, but I would say what I'm the most impressed with is the human being that he is. He's so kind and gentle and very intelligent. And there's an old soul about him where it feels as if he's been here before. You can tell there's a real desire to learn this industry and how things work. Uh, and he's very quick. I remember in the very beginning when we were just doing table reads and we still had at least two, if not three weeks before filming. He was already off book. Uh, I was not off book. So I was, I was very impressed. When we had our first director's meeting, uh, I was just enjoying this man who I was speaking with and his in-depth aptitude of film and culture and the many different styles of film and genres. He just has a vast, vast knowledge without being intimidating. It's really been a wonderful experience. I would say as plumed as he is with awards uh, and accolades, uh, it is like a kid in the candy shop. He truly loves this, truly. And he's giddy and sometimes in between takes, He'll be dancing and smiling or clapping his hands like, you know what I mean, a little kid. And it's that's very humbling uh, because this can be a very hard job. Uh, it's, a, it's a marathon, if you want it to be. It's a marathon versus a sprint. And what um, in, invigorates me, what continues to motivate me, is that this is someone who's been doing it for as long as he has, and he still has that childlike passion. And I think those people who have that usually are the ones that we applaud and laud and want, you know what I mean? Want and aspire to be. And so I think that youthfulness um, and true passion and love for what he does is, I think, one of the main ingredients as to why his projects are so wonderful. He has a really beautiful spirit and enjoys, loves this. And it's clear that this is what, part of what his purpose here is on earth to do in the telling of stories. So it's, it's really wonderful to be around that and hopefully taking that energy and taking that on to my next project. And that, you know what I mean, crew members having experienced this will then go on to their next projects, right? And, and 
knowing that there's a certain way in which you can tell stories and handle yourself um, in the professional setting. And it doesn't have to be done with tension and stress and angst. And, and I think sometimes there's the misnomenclature that that's the only way to make great art, like under the pressure cooker. Um, and I'm experiencing something completely different. So it's really wonderful. We're just seeing two, three individuals, uh, which I wonder if they weren't under these circumstances, if they would have had the opportunity to really get to know one another and to be an unpredicted vessel of support for one another. And I, and I think what's beautiful about that is in this movie, in a way, it transcends ageism, racism, gender, and that these three individuals, due to the loss and pain that they have, it's like sometimes when you've hit rock bottom, you're open to anything, to seek relief wherever you can. Something that I love about Mary is that she gives the salt with the sugar, you know what I mean? The medicine with the sugar um, uh, with them. And it's funny and enjoyable to see their different dynamics. And it is sometimes this very bizarre mom, dad, and kid. And there's sometimes when the youngest, the kid is like more of a parent uh, and giving us guidance or come to our aid uh, when the other adult can't or doesn't know how to. It's a glimpse or an observation of what it's like if you just allow yourself to truly see someone and uh, be open to receiving what another individual has to offer as well as what you can also give.